Welcome back, world. Welcome to episode 3 of Let's Go Pikachu. I'm your host, Sleepwalk Stalker, and let's just get started. Last time we made it through Viridian Forest into Pewter City, and we caught quite a lot of Pokemon, and... Obtained 10 Pokemon into our Pokedex. Not bad. Okay, so... We're going to make a quick stop at Pokemon Center, get healed up. With that over with, we shall continue. Last time Gary 2 told us to probably go see the gym, so that's probably what we're going to do today. Yep, that's the gym. Now for our team... Oh wait, whoops. Our team. No, no. Okay. So for our team, I think we're going to change up the order of our party right now. Bulbasaur instead of Ratata, and Bulbasaur is going to move and change places of Pikachu. Actually, I think I'll have Oddish up first. Okay. So with that, let's head into the gym. Wait, the spectators? I thought this was private. Hiya! You're here to challenge a gym, aren't you? I'm not a trainer, but I can tell you if you're worthy of challenging a gym leader. Now let's get started. The Pewter City Gym only allows trainers who know type matchups to enter. There are a few types you have to have an advantage against the gym leader's rock type cooking. But for trainers who have never challenged a gym before, we, ha we have them use either Grass or Water Type Pokemon. You have to show me a Grass or Water Type Pokemon if you want to face the Gym Leader. Hmm, this is hard. We've got two. Go Oddish. Great, that Pokemon is exactly what I wanted to see. Head on in and aim to become a Pokemon Champion. We can go literally around these guys, but we're not. This is a Pewter City Gem. Trainers here have a Trainers here are a bit different from those you've faced so far. I'll be the judge of that. Thank you very much. So show the Geodi. Hopefully Oddish has some boss attacks, but I've never checked. Absorb, that's good enough. Ooh, instant knockout. Did you lose a level 10? We beat Picnica. I forgot what her name was already. Never mind, she's into it. Stop right there, kid. We're 10,000 light years from facing Brock. Um, we're literally like five steps away. You're challenged by Campalia. He has a gym. The fact that we can one-shot these doesn't really surprise me. Bro. 
Brock, with your servants of this week. I think that beating you will be a literal game. We beat Campalian. Okay. So you're here. I'm Brock, Pewter City's gym leader. You can see just by looking at my Pokemon how rock hard my willpower is. My Pokemon are all hard as rock and have true grit determination. That's right, my Pokemon are all rock types. Fwahaha! <laughs> You're going to challenge me even knowing that you'll lose. That's what a trainer's honor demands. So be it. Show me your best. Why are you defending yourself? We're challenged by the gym leader Brock. And he has a gym. Why am I not surprised? Oh, it's... It's a uh, high level. I don't mean... Oh, he can still win shot. Oh, we got a No, I'm not like that. Pikachu grows to level 11. Okay. Right. Yeah, I think... I think... Oh wait, it's out speeding me. Oh, no. oh wait, we healed ourselves. Oh, we healed ourselves and we're done. One shot on Onyx. Kakuna Bruce level 6. Bulbasaur goes to level 8. We beat Brock! Seems I, under seems I underestimated you. Ooh, 2,000 Pokédollars almost. As proof of your victory, take an official Pokémon League badge. A Boulder badge. Hey, you didn't even help. You can't high-five me. We got Boulder badge. Boulder Badge, Pokemon up to level 20 from other trainers will listen to you without question. Oh, and wait, take this with you too. We got TM01, Headbutt. If you use a TM or a technical machine, you can teach it to your Pokemon with the, mo the move within it. A TM can be used as many times as you like, so Pokemon it can be used on any Pokemon you want. TM01 contains Headbutt. Hey, you there, newbie. Don't tell me. You've got to be sleepy, right? How'd you know that? Because you look just like my gramp said. I'm blue. I heard from my gramps that two new kids set out from Paladin Town to become trainers. Just like I did once. So I came to check you out. I think you might want some advice on how to beat the gym from an expert trainer like me. But it looks like I showed up too late, huh? Seems you're not too shabby yourself. So, I guess you've earned a reward, newbie. We've got five great balls from Blue. It's funny, these great balls are Blue. Those were even better for catching Pokemon than playing old Pokeballs. And hey, that thing you've got there is a Pokedex, right? So Gramps finally went to made one. He used me to just scribble on a map pencil and show where I am and count Pokemon. You'd better do a good job helping him out. Maybe, maybe Professor wrote to you, and sure, he's an old coot, but he's still my Gramps. Smell you later, newbie. Did I just get hit on by Blue? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Okay, that was a terrible falsetto voice. I've never done that.
I don't think I'll ever do that again. Hopefully. Now that we're healed up again, I'm just going to move Pikachu back to the front of our party. Okay, so let's get moving. First on to what you got to say. This is my sweet little Frey. When she walks with me, she sometimes finds items in the wild. Okay. What do you got to say? Oh dear, what am I supposed to do with you, Slowpoke? Hello there. Do you think you could do me a favour? Yeah? I want to go to the Peace Museum, but my dear Slowpoke is here refusing to budge. Poke! Do you think you could keep an eye on my dear Slowpoke for a little while? Sure! Oh, thank you very much. In that case, please keep my dear Slowpoke company for a while. Slowpoke is staring blankly ahead. You spent a relaxing time with Slowpoke. Thank you for keeping an eye on my dear Slowpoke. Here, this is for your trouble. Selling item. How do we get out this time? Thanks for teaching me Museum of Science. Ah, it's so refreshing. Peter City stays lovely and cool since it lies at the base of a mountain. This is going to be wild. Up, oh, found it. Route 3. Why didn't I just dump, jump down the ledge? Excuse me, you looked at me, didn't you? No, we were looking down. Their battle is barely a challenge. Surely an oddish. Ooh, hidden item. Three Pokeballs. Okay. I don't even know why I went down this way. I think it's going down here. Oh, you're a new trainer. I'm a coach trainer. Coach trainers are the ones who stand in are the ones who stand in various places to train trainers. I'm one of them. We coach trainers are strong, if I do see so as well. If you want to try out your strength, you should definitely baffle us. 
I'm not in the mood for that, so I think I'll want this. I don't want this. I've got a potion. Yeah, I want this. Yeah, I want this. Yeah, I want this. Oh yes, we avoided him. Well, I didn't see any reason again for another battle, so let's avoid this guy too. Oh. Sentry. I'm catching another one because I want a male Sandra, okay? Just don't judge me. And because my TV's cropped the screen, I can't tell if it's male or female until after I've caught it. But this is great experience grinding anyway, so it's not all bad. Who wants to enter attack? Oh, you've got quite a couple of good moves. You're a sand attack. So Pidgey learned Quick Attack, Bubble Story to level 9, okay he learned Leech Seed pretty good. I'm um, I don't want to catch Combo, Hunt Shiny Hunting. And for those people who don't know what Shinies are, okay so for those who don't know what Shinies are, now. you what you wanted. Okay, Sparky's eyes are following the bird Pokemon. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, found a law. Now, for those who know who don't know what shinies are, no, I did not push you. Okay, so I'm just gonna tell the story now. For those people who don't know what shinies are, shinies are ver different color variant Pokemon. So, for example. Nidoran, oh we haven't seen Nidoran male yet, um, Nidoran male is purple, its shiny form is blue, like this Nidoran, like this Nidoran female, so that is basically a shiny Pokemon, it's just rare Pokemon, not really that impressive. They're rare. Um, they're very good trade fodder. And some of them, like, um, Greninja, Shiny, Shiny Greninja is very aesthetically pleasing, so that's a pretty good Shiny to have. I mean, like, I would trade for one of those. We've got two Great Balls or this person. Okay. Oh, a Spiro. We don't have one yet.
Nah, we never get accidents. It's like, this is like our fourth accident or fifth. Okay. Bulsar grew to level 10. Very close to evolving, six levels away. Okay. What else can we catch around here? There's a right of place, okay. Oh, great, okay, let's continue. Okay, so that battle, all this guy had was Kakuna, which was one shot by my Thunderbolt, so, I mean Thundershot, which is my Thunderbolt, yeah. Ooh, thank you. And revive, that's pretty helpful. I've seen a Pokemon run away before. Mm, let's go for this. Just a heads up now, I will be catching all 150 Pokemon, but I will not be catching Mew until probably a later date when I get the Pokemon Plus. But I will mention how to do that, in case you're wondering. You haven't challenged me, are you okay? Phew! I was just taking a little rest here. That tunnel from Cerulean City takes a lot out of you. Train him. There's another coop to train him. What's in here? Found an escape rope. That could be very helpful or very annoying to use. Okay, so I think getting to Mount Moon is a pretty good stopping point. Why is there a Meowth up there? Sleeping Pokemon. Doesn't seem to like a Pokemon. It doesn't seem like a Pokemon will do very much. Oh, that's a mistake. So can I not throw one at it anyway? Hmm. Okay. I think I'll... <laughs> I think we'll end off here guys, we got to Mount Moon, and yeah, it's a pretty good stopping point for this episode. So this was episode 3, well, I'll see you in episode 4.